Good morning. Good Saturday morning. It is February the 13th. Uh, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. It is a very balmy 34 degrees here. Uh, and they're calling for some snow and calling for us to get down in the teens and freezing rain and all of this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm down here in southeast Texas. We don't get that kind of weather here, so uh, this is going to be something different. Uh, they've already called off school Monday and Tuesday. Well, Tuesday they're going to do virtual learning, uh, but Wednesday we're supposed to get another round of this stuff. So we'll see what happens. Um, I know some of you folks in other parts of the country, this is just old hat, but uh, down here in southeast Texas, uh, we don't get that. So anyway, good morning. My name is John Guru. I'm from Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas. We're just outside of Houston. Um, <clears throat> if this is your first time seeing this, uh, drop me a line. Let me know where you're from. I'll put, uh, I'll put a little pin on the map, and, and uh, I'm putting together a map uh, where people tell me that they're from, and uh, I'm going to show my daughters just how far things go when you can post it on social media or uh, YouTube or whatever. Uh, but anyway... Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're going to be in uh, Psalms as always, and then we're going to go to uh, back to First Kings, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So I'm um, reading from the Revised Common Lectionary, and once again under the video on on the YouTube channel. Uh, and by the way, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. But uh, anyway. On the bottom of that, there'll be some uh, some links, uh, links to our website, links to where you can get the Revised Common Lectionary, and for the uh, Pray Now app. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Uh, click on the map, go to the readings, and I'm reading from the ESV, the English Standard Version. All right, uh, Psalm 50, verses 1 through 6, and here we go. As always, may God bless the reading of his word. you got to have that in there. The mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes. He does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire. Around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Next, we're back in 1 Kings chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. So here we go. And once again, I'll apologize. Uh, we're in the Old Testament, and there's some weird names in the Old Testament, and I may not be able to pronounce them correctly, but I'll do the best I can. So here we go. Uh, 1 Kings 16, 1 through 7. And the, <clears throat> and the word of the Lord came to Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Basha, saying, Since I exalted you out of the dust and made you leader over my people Israel, and you have walked in the way of Jeroboam and have made my people Israel to sin, provoking me to anger with their sins. Behold, I will utterly sweep away Basha and his house, and I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Anyone belonging to Basha who dies in the city, the dog shall eat, and anyone of his who dies in the fields, the birds of the heaven shall eat. Now the rest of the acts of Basha, and what he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Basha slept with his fathers and was buried at Tirzah. And Eli, his son, reigned in his place. Moreover, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, against Basha and his house, both because of the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger, and the work of his hands, and being like the house of Jer Jeroboam, and also because he destroyed it. 
All right, let's go. All right, next we're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 41 through 44. And he drew near and saw the city, and he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation. Mm. This is the word of God. All right, now I go to the Pray Now app for the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Triune God, <clears throat> whose very name is holy, teach us to be faithful hearers and learners of your word, fervent in the spirit as Apollos was, that we may teach it correctly against those who have been led astray into falsehood and error, that we might follow the example <clears throat> of Aquila and Priscilla for the good of the church you established here and entrusted into our humble care. For you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. You heard the prayer had mentioned Aquila, Priscilla, and Apollos. And uh, there's a little paragraph here that tells a little bit about them, and I'd like to share that with you this morning. Aquila and his wife Priscilla, uh, Jewish contemporaries of St. Paul, traveled uh, widely. Because of persecution in Rome, they went to Corinth, where they met the Apostle Paul, who joined them in their trade of tent making. In turn, they joined Paul in his mission of proclaiming the Christian gospel. The couple later traveled with Paul from Corinth to Ephesus, uh, where the two of them established a home that served as hospitality headquarters uh, for new converts to Christianity. Apollos was one of their numerous Jewish pupils in the faith. An eloquent man, Apollos, being fervent in the spirit and spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, that's in Acts 18. Uh, he later traveled from Corinth to the province of Achaia, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. That's also in Acts 18. Aquila, Priscilla, and Apollos are remembered and honored for their great missionary zeal. Interesting. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And uh, if you're down here in Texas, stay warm. It's uh, We're in for a good ride here. They're saying it's going to get down in the teens, maybe even lower than that. And uh, the wind and stuff, it's... It's not going to be fun. Y'all Y'all be careful. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So uh, y'all have a great day. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. Bye-bye. God bless. <laughs>